Productions. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This your boy Cord of Beast Mode Productions here with another tutorial. Today we're going to focus on installing the beta version of FL Studio 12. So let's get into it. So I got my install folder right here. I already downloaded the beta version. So now I just need to unzip it. So I use uh, WinRAR. So I'm going to extract here. Boom. Oh. Let it do its thing. It shouldn't take too long, as you can see. Oh, 99, 96%. There we go. So here's our installation file, execution file, whatever you want to call it. So what we want to do, double click on it. I'm going to get this pop-up window. I'm going to hit run. I need to check to see if they got the Mac version available. So if they do, I'll also be uploading the tutorial on the Mac version as well. So this window comes up, I'm going to hit yes. Alright, we should get another pop-up window real soon. Oh, here we go. So the welcome to the FL Studio 11.5 public beta setup wizard. Let's hit next. Bam. You know, you got the user agreement. I agree. This is beta version. Okay, I agree. So you got to agree to this. This beta software will expire on the 15th of January, 2015. I fully understand the pitfalls and consequences. Blah, blah, y'all can read. Let's go. I understand it. Hit next. So I want to install it. Uh, install it for all users. Okay, now see you get this that pops up. Install your your red code first. If not done yet, which is your registration code. So my registration code. Uh, go to my account. On image line. Unlock products. So to unlock all your products, just click this link. Boom. Save file. I'm using Firefox, so I'm gonna click right here. Click on the registration file. Hit run. Hit yes. Add information. Blah blah. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes been successfully added to the registry hit ok boom bam minimize that so i've installed my registration code hit next so i never touch this i, I leave this alone so it requires 1.1 gig Dang. all right so i'm gonna hit next so i'm gonna install it here that's my destination folder on my c drive amount of space I have available. I need to delete all the contact libraries. That's just killing my space. 32 bit, blah, blah, blah. Right there, hit next. Hit install. I'm gonna let this installation go through. Um, I'll be doing like a overview tutorial. You know, once I, you know, get in there, check it out, 
to see what's going on. Y'all, that should be like the next video y'all will see after the Mac version. If they got a Mac version, you know, I'll show the installation of that, and then I go into you know an overview of the whole layout and what's different and whatnot. And just testing out everything and seeing you know how it works with my workflow and all that. Cause currently right now I use FL Studio 11 to produce or to make my beats in and I export my WAV files and I mix in Pro Tools on my Mac side of my uh, Mac Pro. Cause right now I'm running Windows on my Mac Pro. So uh, that's how I, you know, how I do my beats and whatnot. If there's any other tutorials that, you know, you guys and gals, and, you know, whatnot, that y'all need or want, just let me know and I'll do my best to try to get to it as soon as I can. Sorry, I've just been a delay in like my tutorials or whatnot, just been busy with school, and trying to catch up on, on my production and all my work, so that's about it. And this thing ain't taking forever. installation file it got some sounds in it already so seeing a couple of people saying that they were having like a, again like errors or whatnot so hopefully I don't run into any errors uh, hope not hope it just runs smooth wow this going if you got Instagram or whatnot check me out uh, or you know become friends with me at I am Cord K H O R D and just friend me on there. From there, you can know. I, I think I got the links to my Facebook or whatnot, but I'll follow back, friend everybody back. Just trying to network with everybody. So I got everything, you know, you know, trying to get everything started up and running the way I, I want it to run. So if y'all could just do that for me. And I appreciate the support. tutorial uh, on how to get the legacy pattern blocks to work on FL Studio 11 but it only works on 32-bit versions so for those of y'all that's running like a Windows 7 using the 64-bit version I think somebody left a comment a while back on how they figured out how to get it to work so just filter it, filter through the comments if need be if you're using the 64 bit version of Windows 7 or you know or using Windows 8. And shout out to whoever left that comment. It's been a while. I think I was overseas when somebody left that comment. So shout out to them. Shout out to everybody that was helping each other on, on my uh, on my YouTube video as far as in the comment section. done installing this being that it's the beta version I'm not gonna fully get rid of my uh, FL Studio 11 I'm just gonna leave it on there I still got older versions of FL Studio still on my computer uh, 
I just gotta make sure everything is good to go with it before I, I fully get rid of, of something because I don't wanna have a project that's not working or it stops working at FL Studio 12 that I started at FL Studio 11 and delete FL Studio 11 now. You know what I'm saying? Up Creek with an other paddle. I'm not trying to be in that position or in that predicament or try to, you know, waste time recreating beats. So, that's just my advice. I think they also warn you, you know, since this is the beta version, just be careful or whatnot. Here, I'll show you. Get it up. Issues. Reboot your PC before installing. I don't know how many died. Alright. Almost done. And then, while we at it, as far as our skins, I don't know. Are they gonna are you still gonna be able to customize the skins? If so, you know, I'm gonna go recreate my skin that I have on my FL Studio 11. For those of y'all that haven't seen it, you can check out like my previous videos and you can see how my FL Studio 11 skin looks with the Beast Mode Productions logo and everything. So I already figured that out and get it installed on uh for the FL Studio 12. I changed up the whole startup logo, like, instead of when you see, like, the FL Studio uh, logo, you see my logo pop up instead, and then it says, like, my, my tag for my beats, so, I gotta refigure that out for this version, shouldn't be a problem, though, okay. And I ain't know it's gonna take that long. See the logo popped up on the desktop. You purchase, blah blah. blah. You can download the, the latest registration code to unlock it from the demo. I already did that, so if it doesn't work, I'll redo it. Hit next. My FL Studio 11.5 public beta. Leave that check and finish. Let's see what happens. we 
Let's go. Right there. So that can go away. Let's see what audio options are. Okay, I'm using my primary sound driver. Good. Oh, I like the layout already. Let's see what we sound like. We all pretend to be fine. We all pretend to be fine. takes up see what all the what all has changed and I'll be back at y'all with, with two more tutorials like I said and uh appreciate y'all looking and uh please subscribe and I'll subscribe back to y'all thank you be small productions